Example number three. 24 plus absolute value of 2 over 5x minus 3 is equal to 24. And again, whenever we are solving absolute value equations, we need to make sure we can isolate the absolute value first. Okay, because this procedure only works when you have the absolute value by itself on the left hand side. Okay, or maybe the right hand side. So we have the 24 plus the absolute value. This 24 is positive. We are going to minus 24 on both sides first. So this will cancel, and let's see, on the left hand side, we will get 2 over 5x minus 3. And we still have to keep the absolute value, because we haven't break it down into two different equations yet. Okay, equals to 24 minus 24, it has to be 0 as well. Okay, 24 minus 24 just, you know, it's equal to 0. And now let's take a look. Absolute value is equal to zero. For this case, right, the ones that we talked about earlier, when you split into two different um, equations, this only works that you're actually going to get two answers. It's when you have a positive number on the right hand side. But we have absolute value is equal to zero in here. Well, we can actually just split into two different equations as well. But then you have the positive zero, and then you will have a negative zero. But positive 0 and negative 0, it's the same. So in this case, it's actually the special case. We're actually going to have the one solution uh, for this equation. Because the outcome of absolute value, whenever you have it's equal to 0, this only works if the inside is equal to 0. You're only going to get one answer for this equation. Okay, So this is the one solution situation. What we need to do is just make the inside equal to 0. Okay, so for this one, let's see, again the inside does not change, let me take this away, the inside does not change, you will get 2 over 5x minus 3, it's equal to 0. We don't need to do two different parts, because again, positive 0 and negative 0 is going to be the same. So 2 over 5x minus 3 is equal to 0. Add 3 on both sides. These two cancels. I get 2 over 5x equals to um, equals to 3. So we have 2 times, I'm oh, sorry, we have 2 over 5x. Right? 2 over 5 times x is equal to 3. To solve this equation, we have to get rid of that 2 over 5. And we can do so by multiplying by the fraction 5 over 2 which is the reciprocal of 2 over 5. If we do that, let's see, if I put 5 over 2 like this, notice that this 5 and that 5 will cancel, and this 2 and that 2 will cancel. That's why we decide to choose the reciprocal of, um, that's why we multiply the reciprocal of 2 over 5, which is just the flip 5 over 2, okay? So they will cancel out, and you will just get an x on the left hand side. That's equal to, we will have to do the same right here as well. We need to multiply by 5 over 2 to the number 3 as well. So we have 5 over 2 times 3. We can look at this as, we can look at the 3 as 3 over 1. And to multiply fractions, um, we don't have anything that we can cancel, so we can just multiply 5 times 3. We get 15 on the top, and then 2 times 1 on the bottom. So x is equal to 15 over 2. Again, this is just um, this is an example of the absolute value equation that you just have one solution to it. Okay. Then let's do number four. Have two absolute value of 4x plus 1 minus 11. It's equal to 7. So again, we have to isolate this absolute value first. We are subtracting 11 here. That's plus 11 on both sides first. So these two cancels. I will end up 2 times the absolute value 4x plus 1 absolute value. It's equal to 11 plus 7, 7 plus 11. It's equal to 18. Here we have 2 times that absolute value. 
So we are going to divide both sides by 2. Divide both sides by 2. This 2 and that 2 will cancel, and we did it. Absolute value now is being isolated. Absolute value of 4x plus 1 is equal to 18 over 2 is 9. So we isolate the absolute value. We're going to break it apart. I want to take out the absolute value. The first case, the inside stays the same. 4x plus 1 is equal to the number 9. Nothing changed, just take out the absolute value, right? Or the second case, you take out the absolute value, the inside stays the same. 4x plus 1, but then you make this equals to negative 9 instead. And then we are ready to solve this. 4x minus 1, sorry, 4x plus 1, it's equal to 9. We are going to minus 1. Minus 1, minus 1. These two cancels. I mean, these two ones cancels. <laughs> Okay, so we have 4x is equal to 9 minus 1, which is 8. And then 4 times x, 4 times x is equal to 8. We can divide both sides by 4 like this. 4 cancels. I get x is equal to 8, x is equal to 8 over 4, which is equal to 2. First answer. Moving to the next, um, next case, the second case. Subtract 1 on both sides. Cancel the 1s. I get 4x is equal to negative 9 minus 1, which is negative 10. Then divide both sides by 4. The 4 cancels, and in this case we have x is equal to, we have um, 10 over 4, and we can reduce this fraction, we can do it by 2. 2 goes into 10 5 times, and 2 goes into uh, 4 2 times. So we can reduce this, and the result is actually negative, because we have a negative here. So x is equal to negative 5 over 2. Two answers. <laughs>